Hi and welcome to our second week of Stretch and Pray as we journey through Lent towards Easter. So today I invite you to come into a place, just get yourself comfortable for a minute and come into a place where you can be upright and then we're going to teach our body to be still. So when you're ready, I encourage you to close your eyes and we'll think about our breath. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And when you're ready, place the palms of the hands face up. So as we give thanks for our day, We do this to say, God, I am ready for all that you have to give for me in this moment. We slow down our breaths. As we enter into the presence of God, breathe in God's holy breath. May this time be for us a holy moment. Amen. So when you're ready, I encourage you to open your eyes and we're going to get on with some really gentle stretching. I know that my body needs it today. So we're going to inhale, lift up the ears, exhale, place them back and down, relax and do that again. Inhale, squeeze up the shoulders to the ears, exhale, place them back and down, relax. Okay, we're going to do some arm stretches today. I want you to take one arm up to the ceiling and fold it back down. So we're taking the hand behind the back. Now, it may not um, feel too comfortable. Try and keep your head up as much as you can. Don't drop it forwards. With the other hand, you can either choose to hold here or if you can't hold here, you're going to push upwards this arm. And we're going to hold that stretch for two breaths. And relax, we're gonna do the same on the other arm. So lifting up and then reaching down the back with the other hand. And we take this arm, you can either push from here or take it round the back and pull. So again, you're listening to your body. We're being really gentle. And we're taking each exercise as comfortably as we can. You should never feel any pain. If it hurts, don't do it. Great. And relax. Take your arms forwards for that lovely bear hug, dropping the chin into the chest. And you can feel the stretch across the top of the shoulder blades. And let's do the reverse of that stretch, taking your arms back and behind, lifting up the chin and feeling the good stretch across the chest. Okay, let's do one more arm stretch. I want you to take one arm forwards and take it across the body and then lift up the other arm and pull it in, keeping this arm nice and straight. Don't hold at the elbow. We don't hold at joints when we're stretching and you pull it in. Only go as far as it's comfortable for you to go. Again, if you just 
can't feel a thing you should be able to feel a lovely stretch across the top of your shoulder here you're gonna drop the shoulder and lift up the arm but for most of you this will be a good stretch and let's swap that over so take the other arm in front and draw it in pull it in with the arm I'm trying not to get my arm on my microphone Okay, and all the way down. I should have said right from the beginning, actually, your legs can be in whatever shape is comfortable to you. But for the first time today, I want to encourage you to try and sit now. Um, sometimes the camera angle makes it look like my legs are wider than they are. I'm not in the splits. Um, I've just sat where is comfortable for, for you. Now, some of you will find it this point at different stages. So for some of you, either that haven't stretched for a while or that are so sporty that all of your, uh, your muscles and your hamstrings and all of your leg muscles are so tight that you literally can't put your legs down and straight. So this might be enough. For others, it might be wider. Now you feel this stretch in two places and all I want you to do is come up into a good upright sitting position. And this might be enough hold it there if it is you'll feel it either on the inner part of the knees or maybe on the inner part of the thighs or maybe for both for others of you to increase this stretch we're going to lean forwards take your hands on the floor and you're just going to take two hand walks forwards until you can feel that stretch it might be that you do it again it might be that actually coming up is fine and we're going to hold this for two breaths. Feels good. Okay. And the final one, I'll try not to place you in too many knots. Bring your legs forwards. Again, there are different stages to this exercise. We're gonna keep the same exercises all week. So you'll get used to them, we'll become into a pattern. With your legs forwards, I want you to take one leg up and over. Now it might be that here is a good stretch. You can already feel it and the outside of your thigh and your bum, perfect, hold it here. For others, you can lift up that bottom leg up towards the bottom. You can use your hand to help you, you can do it naturally. So we've got that really good leg stretch. Now you're gonna take your opposite hand to your opposite leg and twist and turn to the back, holding it for two breaths. Coming back and untangling ourselves. So we're gonna take our other leg up and over. And again, each side, depending on what you've done, one side may be looser, one side may be tighter. It may be that you could do it with one leg, but you can't with the other. This may be a good stretch. Take up the other leg if you can. If you can't, you keep it here. I'm gonna show it to you from this direction this time. Take the opposite hand on the opposite knee and we twist around to the back and we hold it here for two breaths. And coming back to the center and finally Let's just do some neck stretches, how we started last week's session. So side, center side, looking up, and all the way down.
okay. I did say that our stretches were going to be really gentle today. So when you're ready, we're going to come into our longer meditation part. So again, I invite you, um, you can sit with legs out, legs together, find a chair, lie down. I'm giving you time to be able to get yourself into a comfortable position. We're moving on. And get those fidgets. You have a little scratch. You have that extra fiddle of your clothes getting ready. I do it as well. We prepare to make ourselves comfortable. And we learn to sit still. And to come back into the place where we concentrate upon our breath. And we relax our shoulders, let them drop and feel heavy. And once again, we place the palms of our hands face up. Breathe in the peace of God. May the peace of God rest on your shoulders. Relax your hips. May that peace enter and surround your body until you feel it in the tingling of your toes. As we move into our passage of scripture in a moment, you may find that your mind runs off in a hurry to the next thing. It churns, thinking about other things and that's okay. But with kindness and gentleness, bring yourself back to thinking about your breath. And so the passage from today is Psalm 86. I'll be reading from verse 10. As I read, you may want to think about one word or two words that stand out to you. For you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Give me an undivided heart to revere your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify your name forever. For great is your steadfast love towards me. You have delivered my soul from the depths.
what might be God saying to you today. I'll read it for the second time. For you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Give me an undivided heart to revere your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart. I will glorify your name forever. For great is your steadfast love towards me. You have delivered my soul from the depth. What was the word or phrase that stood out today? Is there anything that you need to give to God? and lay it down at his feet. As you breathe in God's breath, you are love. You are cherished. You are forgiven. So as we come to the end of our meditation, before you open your eyes, we sign ourselves with a cross. God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you tomorrow. Bye.